Hello, uh, today I would like to share about my art books. This one is from Boris Vallejo and Julie Bell. Uh, why I like to share this book? Well, especially because this is not just ordinary art. Well, it's just ordinary art book. It's, it's, it's an art book, but uh, the content itself, uh, most of the content related with this card, the Marvel masterpiece from clear sky book in 1996 so for you who were collecting bronze part trading cards especially marvel you will know that about this card you at least you heard about this card because this is some kind of they say it holy grail or something about the trading card because this is a highly sought after the in the market the the Marvel Masterpiece 1996 because the artwork is really good and low print run in comparison with trading cards back in around 90s so if you just collecting trading card and you can find this in a good deal I mean usually even just the base card like this one it's gonna sold around I, I think it's around 10 to 20 dollar just for the base card and for the like this one the double impact card it's gonna be really expensive in comparison with other cards so let's take a look at the well i i post the video of the trading card before so you can check it in the description below and i want to highlight about the art book itself so i just get this couple week ago it's not long but this was published in 2000 so it's 2000 years old <laughs> 2000 20 years old books so I got this one. Let's open the book. Yeah, it's just a bookmark. So, so if I want to read something, let me just put my uh, cell phone here. Sorry for the distortion because I don't have higher tripod here. Probably if I have more better tools, then I will make another video. So this is the image, something like this. This is the introduction and Spider-Man as you can see here it's it's highlighted so Spider-Man itself is a uh, one chapter here Marvelous Universe, Marvel Knights and so on and so forth so this is the information about the book itself so in 2000 Paper Tiger so there are several books related to trading cards for example the Joe Jusko in 1992 Marvel Masterpiece but this one is not exclusively to trading cards but Probably 90% of the content is from this series, Marvel Masterpiece 96. So just, for example, this one. This is the Spider-Man. I well, I have the cards, but let me. Oh, I didn't prepare very well. So sorry. I think I have it. It's the. I put it in a in a different case here. I think it's here. I need to grab it real quick. Sorry for bad preparation. Uh, yes, I put it in the different boxes. So this one, as you can see here, and this is a uh, Spider-Man, the gallery, and this is the art book. So if you want to take a look at it closer, then you can see content something like this. There's a sign in here, but not in here. It's weird though, but well, yeah, you can see this one. Probably this one is unfinished version, I don't know, <laughs> or digitally removed, I don't know, no idea. But this is the same image here, and there's a story here the backstory about the sorry about the content here. Let me just go from place to place. Yeah, this is another Spider Man here. If you want to look at the card, just look at my other video, because I cannot. Well, I put that in in a box like this, the Marvel ninety six. So it's kind of hard to pull one card just to show you. Look at the face here. I think he looks like Butet. Butet is a comedian from Indonesia. This is Carnage. Yeah, this is the content. So some image has a larger size than others like this one this is definitely larger so for for one page 
for for only one image this is even one page but it just separate and this one is the explanation of what, about the the image or the story about the image i also have, well i have the card so <laughs> it's here the phenom and the spider-man are in, in the same i don't know just put it here i think all the spider-man are put it yeah this one so this is the connecting card here's the connecting card and that's the image this one and i think this one carnage from the previous which i think that's it this one so yeah this is the carnage the movie will be will come soon it's a similar and there's a sign in here but not here i don't know well it's a slightly different though okay so it's a it's a sorry if it's gonna be a long video because i want to to flip the pages if you have a chance to get this book uh if you're a comic lover or the, i mean the the art itself is just this one is not from our former turkish 1996 this one is from uh i don't know it's a it's a different is it Fred ultra x-men or something i have it here that's uh i forget where's that one uh this one is also julie bell you can find it there not on this one not really talk about the Lander. is it from marvel masterpiece or from this one is 1993 uh this one is the i will show you later in the image this one also from julie bell So cool. So here is the Lilandra here. Mm. There's no Lilandra here. So I know it's not from this one, ninety three. It's from ninety two or ninety no, not from ninety five. So I think it's from here. But I'm not really sure, the Lilandra, because it's not not sorted by alphabet, so a little bit hard to find it. I need to prepare better for this one. Is there a Lilandra here? Oh, number thirty-seven. There. So let's go to number thirty-seven. What number is this? Forty-seven. So Lilandra is gonna be around this one. So yeah, this one is Elandra. So this is from 94 FUXM FLIR Ultra X Men. So this is the card. Just wanna show you the card. I also post this, this uh, the video for all this 1994 Marvel uh, FLIR Ultra X Men and Wolverine. I I upload it all, so you can check a look at. The video in the description below so this is this one to go so for samurai she this one is not from trading card i think yeah this is from the cover so not from trading card but this one is from trading card i think this is from wolverine 1996 because there i mean i need to show you real quick here from 1996 clear ultra wolverine oh, sorry because there one ah this one silver samurai this all the image you can see the art is here so this is Boris Vallejo and this is Julie Bell so this this nine pages was done by Boris Vallejo and Julie Bell so if you're interesting in collecting their arts then just sub oh, it's like subset this nine subset from 1996 ultra x-men wolverine you should try to find this one but this card itself is really interesting because if you see the back side of the card it contains the 
uh, connecting comics and it's a comic so this is the 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 end sorry uh, this is the end so it's 1999 uh 99 and number 100 is the checklist so 99 and there's a comic book and the story is really interesting so you might want to take a look at that i have already uploaded the video so let's go back on the our focus titans here why this is interesting because you can see here the image itself is interesting this is from the same card you see it before Thanos, Adam Warlock, Namorita Locus. This I already shown you in the picture from Marvel Masterpiece 1993. This is 1990. You can see 1994, 1995. This is from Flare Ultra Spider-Man. And I just note that uh, this one. This one of Julie's first three trading card images for Mar for Marvel. So, if you are uh, interesting in her art, so you can and you're fans of Silver Surfer, so you probably want to get these three cards. This the image is really great. The art is really great. You can see this one. It's really really great. Like the comparison, like. These kids and the man over there, who is that? Prime? I'm not really know about the Prime. I thought it was Zaza, but it was not. <laughs> Sorry, I'm not really that understand about the comic. This is the fight. So, Julie Bell also published one, uh, not one, she published a lot of art books, but this is the first one, Soft as Steel. And this image uh, remind me a little bit about Hajime Sorayama, the Japanese uh, artist. They are great artists. Look at this! Wow. And the size is really big in comparison with the card. So I mean, the card is just like this size. You can see more detail and clear here. Well, of course, you can just Google the image and zoom it zoom out, but it's kind of different to see like the image is like this and like a different this is also from trading card I think yeah this is the cover this is trading card 1996 uh, okay this is the movie from from the movie okay Omega Red Ken 13 one of my favorite books uh, Joe GSC. I like also like the GSC portrait of images of uh, Ken 13. Scott Campbell. This is Marvel Night and Day, so this is Daredevil. Here, Black Widow, Electra, Punisher, Crystal, Doctor Strange. I hope the, the movie will come soon. Okay, bye bye. <laughs> so I hope it's gonna be great. Why I enjoy a lot of movies, and this is from the insert in 1996 Marvel vs DC. You probably want to grab this one. Uh, the the base site I already uploaded the video, so you can check out that. But this is great because, I mean, like right now, even Sony and Marvel still are uh, trying to get the copyright. What copyright or some? I don't know what's the the right terms about Spider-Man movie, but they try to. Uh, get their hand in Spider-Man, but back in 90s Marvel and DC have their hand together in a series called Marvel vs DC and Amalgam Universe, so I think it's pretty historical and I don't know when will it happen again <laughs> Captain America, Red Skull, this is Hulk well, I have my friend that really loves Hulk I have more than one card about this and yeah, usually I just sell the card because I'm not well. As long as I have one, that's enough. So this is I like this version of Hulk Eye better. I mean, like it, he looks badass. This one really looks like eighties, the Scarlet Witch, like the one from video. What's that? The title physical. 
let's get physical that kind of song like 80s so 80s not really know what 80s is because i was in i'm i was still a small kid back in 80s 90s this is x-man look at this oh officer x look at it I mean the art itself is really really realistic so sometimes when I take a video or photo then the face the face recognition of the software from my camera will automatically detect and it's a little bit creepy for me this is Cyclops Archangels I like this look at this Wolverine like a demon like a Oni really like Oni Oni is a demon in, in Japanese more or less because this story is in Japanese the Wolverine like you know in the movie Wolverine has a strong relationship with Japan so it's Wolverine this one is Beast Iceman I think I got that Iceman from that this one oops sorry again I think yeah there was an assign in here there's a sign in here. So I don't know whether it added later or something, but look at the uh, the eyes. Look at the eyes. Oh my god, look at the eyes. See the cut is really small in comparison with the art itself because the book is pretty large. I think it's A4. Around A4 size, so you can see that better. Gambit, I have friends who really like fans of Gambit. This one is a Bishop. I like this version of Bishop. Remind me of Blade a little bit. Don't you think? He looks like Blade, the vampire hunter. Probably their brothers. No, I'm just kidding. Or maybe I don't know. Okay, White Queens, and this is X Woman. So for I think several years ago, Milo Manara also has a book about the X Woman, but it's all about the X Woman. Rock. Rock. Oh. Jane Grey, the, the normal Jane Grey, not the abnormal one. Storm. I remember I have this image for my wallpaper, for my first color cell phone. <laughs> and this one, I think the, because the image is just, just so really, really good, great. I also like this side of, you know. The face is really Asian, don't you think? Asian version, Asian style. I like this, I like this. And this is abnormal Jane Grey because it's a funny phoenix. Dazzler, this one is the from the dual card, Phoenix and uh, Magneto. X Marauders, Magneto, this one is the this is her name mystic <laughs> there it there she is mystic uh, random cyber thought onslaught i don't know why war machine was put in here i don't know why but there he is this is from cover penthouse comic so it's 160 pages of the book hardcover so yeah i got this book just around 300 yen not just around it's a 300 yen book actually but the shipping cost in japan is really high so i need to pay around 104 1400 yen for this book so 300 yen is only around 30 cent and 1000 yen is around one oh sorry 300 dollar is only around two dollars but the shipping cost it's around 1400 so it's around 12 dollars so around 14 dollars for this book here i think it's a good price 14 dollars so if you can get this cheaper or a little i think it, if it's twice or three times probably around 30 dollars or 40 dollars i'm still gonna buy this book because it's really awesome and because i also have this card the the marshall masterpiece card here so because i because i also have this card so yeah i collecting this 
and it's just make it complete but if you want to be more complete i think you need to add your own personal experience about it whether you uh, walking around in new york or something like that spend your summer there i think that's gonna be great because you're gonna feel what it looks like to be marvel marvel boy or marvel lover okay well sorry for the lengthy video because it just too great and if you want to shoot me a question or something just leave a comment below stay safe stay healthy bye bye